let's be honest as Republicans. I'm the only person on the stage who isn't bought and paid for, so I can say this. The climate change oh, agenda whoa, 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 whoa. is a That's hoax. Ridiculous. The climate is change ridiculous. agenda is a hoax. Is and we have to declare independence for it. And the reality is, the anti-carbon agenda is the wet blanket on our economy. And so the reality is, more people are dying of bad climate change policies than they are of actual climate right. change. Governor, Governor right, Haley, are you bought and paid for? People are so hungry for purpose and meaning at a time when family, faith, patriotism, hard work have all disappeared. What we really need is a tonal reset from the top, saying that this is what it means to be an American. Yes, we will stand for the rule of law. Yes, we will close. to do with China. Mr. Ramaswamy, you would not support an increase of funding to Ukraine. I would not. And I think that this is disastrous that we are protecting against an invasion across somebody else's border when we should use those same military resources to prevent across the invasion of our own southern border here in the United States of America. The old you, Soviet sphere you've made of your point, influence. Vice President. Vice President you, Pence, I'm sorry if I insulted him by calling him a communist. He is a dictator and a murderer. And the United States of America needs to stand against authoritarianism. Right. Mr. Ramaswamy, 30 seconds. Respond. The real threat we face today is communist China. And we are driving Russia further into China's arms. The Russia-China military alliance is the single greatest right. threat we face. Okay. Nobody in either political party is talking about it. And I am, the, I am the only non-neocon. American country. First of all, first of all, first of all, Mr. Ramaswamy, you have 30 seconds. Mr. DeSant, you know, Governor Nikki, DeSantis, I wish you well right. in your future career on the boards of Lockheed and Raytheon. You know, I'm not on but the, the fact of, of the matter, and uh, and you know, you Boeing came off of it, but you've been pushing this lie. Stage, you've been pushing this lie want, all week, Nikki. You want Nikki. to go and defund Israel? Just, you want to okay, give let me address that. China? I'm glad you, you brought that up. I'm going to address each of those right now. This is the false lies of a professional politician. There you have it. So you the reality make America is, less safe. You have no foreign me, policy experience, and it shows. And you know what? The, the foreign policy experience that you all have shows in the pointless wars we've gotten into. I have to address that. So our relationship with Israel will never be stronger than by the end of my first term. But it's not a client relationship. It is a friendship. And you know what friends do? Friends help each other stand on their own two feet. So I will lead Abraham Accords 2.0. I will partner with Israel to make sure Iran never is nuclear armed. But you know what I love about Israel? And I've been there probably in the last 10 years more than most people on this stage. You know what I love about them? I love their border policies. I love their tough on crime policies. I love that they have a national identity and an iron dome to protect their homeland. And so, yes, I want to learn from the friends that we're supporting. And what puzzles